السلام عليكم uh, we continue today with uh, inheritance and uh, we're going to take more examples in inheritance hopefully the concept يعني with more examples is clear so let's review what we did last time and review inheritance in general let me just go through some slides before I start okay in inheritance we have uh, a super class and a subclass inheritance uh, we call the super class parent and the subclass child can use any of these things. If you do inheritance, then all the methods, all the methods and the, the data attributes in the superclass are made available to the subclass. Yeah, and in the subclass, you only do the things that are extra. If you recall our example last uh, class, we created a QU member and then what we did is uh, uh, the QU member had uh, what only uh, in email and ID and name, صح? تمام. However, the QU student, we have what we uh, call uh, GPA, credit num hours and major. Anna has a QU faculty. I don't have that thing. I have department, office number, and office phone, rank, and so many other things. So we keep the common behavior and common attributes in the super class. Then we create subclasses that only add the differences or change some behavior without writing entirely the new the class from scratch. This is very, very important. Maybe hella, this week you would say why we need this. But in three weeks you will understand this when we cover polymorphism also on abstraction. So inheritance basics, why we need it? It's an excellent way to reuse the code. Allow design cla uh, class hierarchies that have shared behavior. When we say shared behavior, yeah, and everything common is made is put in the super class methods and data. And then the subclass, you only make the minor differences. Most of the time, the differences will be minor. So common attributes and methods are placed in the super class, which is called parent class or base class. Then you inherit everything in the subclass and if you have minor differences, you can add them. In the subclass, you inherit all the non-private. Listen carefully. You inherit all the non-private members of the superclass. Yani public and protected are inherited. If it's private, you know, anything private is only accessible and visible inside the class. the protected what is protected we don't we didn't use it so far because usually protected is used when you use inheritance how it works protected ya uh, any access modifier protected whether an attribute or a method makes the method available in the same package plus in the same package again plus any subclass and even if the subclass is in in a different package Protected data members or methods are available. So you, you know private, only in the class, public, visible to the world. Default, which has no access modifier and not recommended. Default makes it only available in the package. Protected makes it available in the package plus any other subclass outside the package. Come on. So how to extend or to inherit a class? Just use the keyword extends as we saw in the last example. Right. 
What are the benefits of inheritance? Wow, saving a lot of time. And what else? No need to duplicate the code, which is going to make your code easier to maintain. When we say code maintainability, it means changing and fixing bugs because much of the time, the code you're going to change is available only at one location. So you reduce duplication. Reduction of duplication makes it easier to maintain your code. Taib, what are the limitations? It's not exactly a limitation. In Java, you can only be a subclass of one superclass. You can only be a subclass of one superclass. You cannot have more than one superclass, no more than one boss. Taib, uh, is it a limitation? Eh, no, actually. There are so many other ways to inherit from other things. But why they call it limitation? Because some other programming languages allow a subclass to be, uh, to have more than one superclass. Taban, Java did not do that because of, uh, yeah, and it makes the code complicated and uh, design even more complicated. Java provides another, other ways to make uh, this work. We will take a look at them next chapter when we talk about polymorphism and abstraction. Right. So you put the common behavior in the super class, like shape. Shape can be 2D shape and 3D shape. A triangle is a 2D shape. A square is a 2D shape. A circle is a 2D shape. They all can be subclasses of 2D shape. Sphere and cube and uh, tetrahedron can be a subclass of the 3D shape. You know, the 3D shape has a uh, volume, huh? 2D shape, you have a area. 3D shape, they have surface area, صح? So it's up to you now. We have seen this example last uh, class. QU member, what we put in the QU member? We put only uh, ID, name, email, صح? طيب. We saw, we said, all students have ID and uh, email and hi. However, when we went to the student, what we did add GPA, hours, and major. When we went to the faculty, we said uh, a faculty have salary and office number, office phone number, department, rank, and these things. So we kept the common behavior in the super class. And the differences are in the subclass. Of course, we're not going to do this example today. Maybe, I mean, this is a project where you have equipment, can be bump or tank or whatever. Tank, you have different types of tanks, so tanks can subclass a tank. We can do these complicated examples in the, in tutorials. Right. Look at this, yeah, Shabab. Employee. Employee here in this example is a super class. Tayyip. Employee has a name, date, start date, uh, string, get name, set name, ID. Tayyip. In this company, for example, we have two types of employee. Now look at the subclasses. We have employee that is a full-time employee. A full-time employee has what? A salary. He takes a regular salary monthly. And we have a part-time employee. And Lahdo, the part-time employee has only what? Hourly rate. I and mean, how much money he, he takes per hour. And we can add one more thing to it, which is uh, how many hours he worked. Uh, yep. But look at the full-time employee. He has salary and office number. The part-time, la and salary, wala and office number. And bas the hourly rate. However, both the full-time employee and the part-time employee are subclasses of the employee. Yani all the methods, all the attributes, everything in the super class is available to both of them, plus the additional things here, the green things here. Yani a full-time employee and ID, string, date, and all of these things, plus salary and social, uh, office number. And the part-time employee, he's got everything in the super class plus the hourly rate. 
Is this good, ya shabab? Is it clear? Right. Let's look at this example. Here we have a superclass, which is a vehicle. Very simple one. It has one method and one protected. Do you get that? One protected. One protected string called brand. And it's given even a value called Ford. Look below here. We have another class that is a subclass of the superclass. Class car extends vehicle. So the car class has a string called brand. Where did it get it from? From the superclass. As a method that's called hunk, where did it get it from? Again, the superclass. In addition to that, the subclass has a private string model name. And here, the model name is one of your favorite cars in your age. Kids in your age, yani, at least my age. Yani, can. Mustang. So the subclass has everything in the superclass plus the model name. Yani they have the method hunk. And if you look here, my car dot brand, my car dot model name. The super class does not have the model name, only the brand. But the subclass has everything in the super class plus anything you define in the subclass. Does that make sense? Look at the model name, yeah, Shabab. Model name can be directly accessed, not even through a method, yeah, any public method. The model name is protected. That's why. Even if this class is in a different folder, that's fine, no problem. You still can access it because the brand string is protected. Right. Okay. So why protected access modifier is used for the attribute? I answered this. We set a, the brand attribute in a vehicle to be protected. If it's a private, no one can access it outside the car class. But يعني, let me explain this. يعني, even protected is not that uh, recommended for attributes. The best thing is make the var variable always private. You can make a set and get method that with protected access modifier. Did you understand this? يعني, make the brand protected, uh, private. And you make your method set name and get name or set brand, get brand, make them protected or public. But at least now, you know, يعني, you can make the method protected or public. And يعني, always make your data members and attributes private. That's much better for uh, encapsulation and data hiding. To avoid any uh, invalid values. So when to use inheritance? It's useful for code reusability. A lot of things, you don't have to write the class. In chapter 10, يعني, definitely after we finish chapter 10, we talk about uh, polymorphism and abstract classes. You will start looking at this from a different angle. طيب, uh, I have a class, but I don't want anyone to subclasses. To subclass it, what to do? Just make the class final, ya shabab. Anything you make final, whether a class, or a method, خلاص. You cannot, no one can extend it. If it's a class, no one can subclass it. If you make a method uh, final, no one can override it. And I, I, I think I covered overriding next week, uh, last week. What is override? So just make it uh, final and that's it. تمام? Constructors, ya shabab, are not inherited. Yeah, and if you extend a class or subclass it, then constructors are not inherited. Create your own constructors. And you still need to call the superclass constructor from the subclass. We'll explain this in the next example. Yeah, and no need to repeat the code. Very similar to the way we did in constructor overloading and chaining. But this time the call will be to a constructor in a superclass, not in the same class. We'll explain this. Now we'll do this example today. Again, the example is very simple. We don't complicate the example because we want the concept to be clear. Tamam? We can take more uh, advanced examples later in the tutorials and lab. But here we prefer to make the concept of inheritance clear to you. 
Look at this class يا شباب Person very simple class يعني in reality you will not do a complete uh, example on will not use inheritance for this simple things but يعني we need to explain the concept This person has one simple thing which is what? Name Yes, look at the constructor Look at the constructor I need you to look at it here Yes Now we have a customer class that extends what? Person. Look at the customer as one extra attribute. What is the attribute of the customer, ya shabab? What's the attribute of the customer? The attribute is phone. Now look at the constructor of customer. To create a customer, you need two things, name and phone. Right, name, because you already have a name. Where did I get it from? Oh, you get it from the superclass person. Look at the constructor. The first line in the constructor, and always should be the first line, you call the super class constructor. So the N, which is name here, will go to the super class, and the super class will set the name. Does that make sense? And then you, in your class, you only set the things that are new. Or any specific to the subclass. Look at this employee class. Okay. The employee again extends a person. What we do here in the employee. Extends a person. And we have a new attribute which is what? Salary. So what's going to happen now? When you create an employee you need a name and salary. صح? So what to do with the name? Just send it to the super class constructor, super n. The first thing you do in the, your subclass constructor is to call the super class with the attributes that are inherited from the super class. Here in this example, it's only the name, but sometimes it's more than the name. Then what you do next in the constructor? Set your specific values. Let's go to an example now. Let's go to uh, Eclipse and do this example. Okay. I'll create a new, I already, oh, I create a new package for this uh, section, L03, finish. Yeah, I need to create a person, yeah, Shabab. This example will grow, yani, with us. A new class. Please pay attention, person, very simple. Anatole, but we only have private, but I'm going to do with things private, and a private string name. Tamam? That's only the name. Yalla, let me make constructor and everything. This is it, the constructor. Setter and getter, source, generate setter and getter. Uh, to string, hatta. Generate to string. Only the name is needed. That's Allah. Let me modify the to string name. Okay. And space name. Now this is our class called what? Our class. And the class name is is person. Any questions? Any question on this person class? Very simple. Doctor, no. uh, private uh, always will be in the super class, the attributes. It, uh, it, it is preferred to be always uh, private in the super class and the subclasses. But always, I mean, all data members always are preferred to be private and you provide a public method to set them. This yeah, is okay. how we always did it. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, why did you make the phone public? And I'm able to phone public. It's better to change it to private. Yes, preferably. Now, this is our person. Let us make our customer. So now I'm going to create a new class in the same package. And the class name is customer. This customer. Okay, 
extends what? يلا هلا extends person. So this customer will inherit everything in the person. But what is extra in this customer? Why you are then subclassing it? Oh, because I have a phone here. Private string phone. So now, okay, you need to make the constructor, ya shabab, in the subclass, huh? Don't think it's going to be made for you. Generate constructor using field. How many fields now in your constructor? You have the name, which is inherited from the superclass person, and the phone. And على طول هو Eclipse is going to know that. But if you are working on here, see now, you have the name and phone. So super name, super name, we'll call the super class constructor. شرحنا هالحكي. Let me just make setter and getter also for my code. Setter and getter for the phone. Since it's private and I always prefer to do this. تمام? بس خلاص. Now what's the difference between our uh, customer and a person? A person has only a name. Customer has everything in the person plus phone number. Can we say يا uh, شباب? Where the name for brackets? أنا صلي ساعة بحكي يا مان. We call the super class constructor here. We call it with the name. No need to duplicate the code. No need to duplicate the code because the code may be, uh, it's like calling the constructor overloading. In the constructor overloading, we did this. صح ولا لا? Right. We now call the super class. This is the first thing you do in the subclass. Call the super class constructor with the attributes inherited from the super class. Otherwise, you need to repeat everything here. So, yeah, and then the name now, will be taken care of by the super class. What super class عندها الحكي كله here? هو customer is a person. يا مان ايمتى دخلت على الخط انت? اول شي حضرت كلاس الخميس يا مان. Yes or no? بدي اعرف يعني انه yes خلاص طالما حضرته معناته راح اجاوبك كامل full. طيب. طيب a person a customer has a name. How to set the name for the customer? When you create a new customer, how to set him? Do I need to repeat the code? This customer set customer equal name or مشارف حكي. Well, already I have everything set already done in the super class. I when I say the super, when I say super name, I call this constructor. When I شرحته من عشر داي. I call this super constructor with the name. With the super class takes care of the name. وتعمل set لل name validation whatever أهم شيء not to repeat the code the same thing is gonna happen now if I create what an employee I'm gonna create a new class now a new class here I call it employee and the employee again extends the person extends person but the employee and the salary. I can make a private double salary. Does that make sense now? Now I need to create a constructor. But the employee has two things now. Name and salary. Tamam. Just create the constructor. Anything you inherited from the super class. Tamam. You send it to the super class. When you say super name. You are calling the super class constructor that takes the name and sets the name and maybe validate the name and, 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 and. No need to repeat this thing. So for you as an employee customer, you don't have to worry about the things that are done in the super class, like name. For you, the only thing to worry about is the phone. Everything else is done in the super class. For you as an employee, you don't have to worry about the name or anything related to the super class. You only need to worry about the salary because this is the only new thing you have here. Let me make, make a set salary and get salary. Tamam. So now, let me make a test for our, for our uh, classes so far. I have three classes, one super class and two subclasses. Let me make it person test. And with the main method. First, I'll create a person, Andy. Person. 
one equals new person. Person has only a name. I'll call him Yaman. Bas. Even if you output it, what will be called if I put P1? The two-string method of the person class. Sah ولا لا? Hi, name Yaman, right? Here, person, name. Ah, yeah. Two-string here. يعني خلينا person name Yaman. Allah, if you run it again, you get the two-string of the hand. Let me create a customer now. Customer C1 equals new customer. And the customer needs two things, name, okay, which is Ziad. مش أنا Ziad, هاد واحد تاني بكتب اسمه غير عني. Ziad عبد العظيم. Okay. And Ziad has a salary, okay. This is Ziad salary. تمام. I can output Ziad. Okay. Customer. We have a sick spelling error. تمام. New customer. Tool غلط. C1. إيش عملناها? Customer. طيب. But. Where is the customer? Constructor. Is it double? Ah, phone, phone. Sorry, 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 sorry. Customer takes phone. This is the phone of the ad. Three, 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 nine, zero, nine, zero. تمام. Takes two strings, customer. So on the ad now, only the name is printed. Why? Why the name is printed? Because the customer is using the two string of which class, yeah, شباب? Of the super class. Do you agree with this? يعني the customer inherited the person super class. The person super class هيك مسكين على بابا لبس prints the name because the person has a name. Let's do an employee now. Okay. We'll go to the test here. Make an employee. Employee. E1 equals new employee. And the name is Price. The mashallah top manager. يعني راتبه عالي. Okay. اللهم لا حسب. Let's output Qais here, E1, again, Qais is person name Qais. Now, this is what, okay, our inheritance, still very basic, مش كتير useful يعني. طيب. Now, at least we need to change the two string يعني. Customer بطبع الاسم بس, is it enough to print the name? A customer, we need the phone number. Yani what I'm saying is sometimes you need to change or improve the behavior of the super class. What did we call this last time, ya shabab? Override. So what is override? Okay. What is override? When you create a subclass in this a method in the subclass that has a same name of a method in the super class. This way, the method in the subclass will take over. يعني كيف? يعني أنا I want the customer when it prints the name, it also prints the phone number. Only a customer has a phone number. طب if it's an employee, I want the name, but I still need the salary. طيب let's go to the employee or customer. I want to override the method of the هلا override هاي optional بشرحها بعد شوي. What is the method signature in the super class? Public string to string. Now override will help you. If you type override يا شباب. Okay. It will understand that you are overriding the to string. Now what do you want in the name? يا زياد عبد العظيم. What do you want in the to string of the customer? What do you want? You want the name and the phone. But already the name is given to you by the super class. صح ولا لا? Don't don't يعني duplicate the code. Can you say? And I think we did this last time. Return super to string. Whatever the super class to string methods run. A plus what? Let us say now here I can do phone. 
plus this dot get phone. Sorry, 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 sorry. This get phone. طبعا السوبر كلاس ما عندها فون تمام so now if you output a customer it will not call the two string of the super class it will call the two string of the customer because you have already overridden that تمام so let's go and test it look at the output the employee will be normal still but the customer ah customer is uh, has uh, now his own two string method He doesn't want the super cla the class. He did his own implementation of the two string. طيب قيس said, okay, I want to print my salary. تمام يا قيس. You just go here. And again, هلا I'll explain override now. Override يا شباب. It's optional, but it helps you to uh, sometimes uh, uh, avoid mistakes. يعني For overriding a method in the super class, put always override. ليش بقول لك؟ لو كتبت if you write the method name غلط شو راح يقول لك الكومبايلر؟ راح يقول لك ما في method بالسوبر كلاس اسمها to string. يعني over, you are all overriding. Overriding what? ما عندي method اسمها to string. فهمتوا علي كيف يعني؟ here انت بتقول له I am overriding. يعني overriding طيب you should override something that exists in the super class هلا اذا عملتها to string يعني شوفوا بدون ال override it will understand that you have a method and the method name is to string ما في شيء غلط هاي but if you put override annotation we call it then you are telling it I'm overriding so here you are alerted now that there is no such a method in the super class now if you make it then it works. Now it is fine, but it's telling you need to return something. Again here, yeah, guys, return super, super to string, plus, h bin and hot salary, and what, this dot get salary. Best. Now, if you output a person, it will use the to string of the person. If you output an employee, you will get an, a to string of the employee. If you output a customer, it will get a, a to string of the customer. But many other, thing, other things are similar. Let us do the test now. Uh-huh. So now, person, name, guys, salary, Ziad, phone. Person, Yaman. Yaman is just a person. Super class. Ma andu tafasil hai. Did you get this, ya shabab? Now, let me explain a few things here in the test. Now, if I want to go, E1 is an employee, ya shabab. E1 is an employee, dot. لاحظوا, في عنده get salary, و get name. Get name is from where, ya shabab? From person. Get salary, from employee. طيب. بس ما عنده get phone. Does not have a get phone. Get phone is only available to what? To C1, صح ولا لا? C, because it's a customer, get phone. So, hopefully, this is clear to you. تمام? Now, if you make something private or final, يعني شوفوا, راح روح للperson وغيرت رأيي. شوفوا, instead of public, final. Wow. Nothing is going to work now. على طول, you get an error. What? What's the error? Look at the error. The type employee cannot subclass a final class. عرفت كيف now how to make things that are what? Okay. Ziad Abdul Azim, جاوبت على السؤال هاد ألف مرة أنا. ألفين مرة جاوبت عليه. Always better to go to use the method name because you don't know if things change, or you change the variable name sometimes, right? This is object-oriented programming. Use the method name. Much better. Unless يعني عندك allergy to the method name. خلاص يعني then you have medical excuse, ah? But you always use the method name instead of the variable name. Does that make sense? Because you don't know what changes inside the method or the variable name, and you will know from now to next class, use the method name. تمام. أي بخاري بقول لك more professional. يعني إحنا بخاري هو المرجع عنا في ال في ال class. لا يا زياد. أنا بس بقول لك إنه عشان تتذكر أديش هاي مهمة. Always use the method name. Variable name is not professional because sometimes you do calculations. 
يعني if it's area don't use the يا مان ليش معصب if it's area don't use the area variable get area because get area will always calculate the area and return it to you if you have a variable area and you change the radius that variable will not change unless you recalculate it so when you call the method get area you always recalculate the value does that make sense huh يا طيب زياد وضحت الفكرة لا زياد احنا بنحكي بس يعني مرات نعطي المثال هيك انه ال question تمام so now I need to make my class here person remove it is no longer final just make it a public class زياد فهمت هلا اه عرفت لقديش الفرق بسموها stale data هاي concept صعب اشرحه هلا بس في values sometimes they change If you use it without recalculating, but then in the method, maybe in the method you always do recalculations and so many other things. يا شباب لما حدا يسألني سؤال وجاوبه هيك يكون الجواب مش لإله personally الجواب للجميع. You get my point, يا شباب. The answer to everyone in the class, ah, I keep always asking questions, Ziad, ah, keep always asking questions, yeah. And, uh, and I want you to, from our mistakes we learn. We learn from our mistakes 10 times what we learn from our first time shots. First time shots, then I bet you have a Good? Tamam. Yalla, ma'ana halla. Nerja ala wain lal kud. Ish nam gayer. Tayyib, halla andi employee tani ane, shabab. I have a different employee. This employee ma. مسكين الامبلوي هاد لا عنده عنده سالري وعنده كوميشن لا هاد مش مسكين اللي بعده مسكين وي هاف ان امبلوي ذات تيكس ا سالري السالري تبعه يعني فيري لو سالري اند هي هاز ا كوميشن طيب يا شباب ايش ليش هون في غلط هو انا ما عدلت هلا الفاينل هاي اوكي عدلناها جاست سيف ميبي اي سيف اوكي طيب Now we have a new type of employee, and that employee takes a salary and commission. Shuraikum, what we need to do? Make the employee a super class. Aha. The employee is a super class of the employee person. Taib, hai kani? Or the one who is with me first? Isa. Isa. هلا ايش بدنا نسميها كوميشن امبلوي هذا له بوث سالري اند اند سو اف اي سي اكستندز اند هيز سبيشال امبلوي يعني هيز جونا جيت ايفريثينج ان ذا امبلوي وات اديشنال ثينجز يو هاف برايفت دبل كوميشن صح يعني ذيس جاي هاز نوت اونلي ا سالري بات بوث طيب إذا إله كوميشن if it has a commission now and then the employee has what name and salary so the commission employee has three things now commission name and salary yes or no yes because the super class has two now look back at the constructor يا مين اللي سألني قبل شوي نسيت والله اللي سألته حضرت محاضرة الخميس look at the constructor now In addition to the two things done in the super class, which is employee, we have the commission. Now look at the, this one. I call the super class now with the hierarchy now. I call the super class, which is employee, with name and salary. The super class knows what to do with them. For me and a subclass, I don't need to worry. So when I call it, the super class knows how to set things, okay, in the super class. Here now, let me make a setter and getter. Here, I have only very simple thing in my class, which is only the commission. I already have a salary. It's in my super class, employee. And I have a name, which is in my super, super class. Yani you inherit everything from Adam to your current object. And it's like a DNA. You inherit everything. So on here in this example, we say we say person is the super class. 
تمام طيب هلا نرجع لابو الكوميشن هذا of this guy with commission okay uh, we need to I need to make changes to the employee انتبهوا معي يا شباب مرات انت you set salary بس it's not necessary the method name is get salary انا راح اسميها get payment معي okay و oh, I'm gonna change it here get payment get payment for this employee returns the salary طيب هلا في ال Commission employee. إحنا بدنا نحسب ال payment تبعه. He has two things now. What is the payment of this commission employee? Salary plus what? Salary plus commission. Yes or no? Do you get that, يا شباب? صح. طب what do I need to override now? I uh, the get payment of the super class only returns the salary. So here I can do override now. Override capital O. Okay. Override public double. شوفوا معي. Public double get payment. So the payment of this guy is going to be what? Return. Super get payment. A super get payment will return the salary. Stay. Hello, uh, do you hear me, yes, Shabab? Yes, 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 yes. What happens to my sound system? It happens to me twice. Type. في تغيير بالصوت صح؟ Type. So now the super get payment will return the salary plus this dot get commission. Is this right, yes, Shabab? Hello, if you have an employee with a commission employee, then what? You get the payment of the super plus the get commission. خلاص, now we know what is the payment. Let me make a new guy now here. Commission employee راح يكون عيسى. Com employee CE1 equals new com employee. Com employee now has a name, عيسى. Has ايش عنده سالري؟ سالري تبعه مسكين يعني اه 1500 اوكي؟ okay. and he has what a commission و oh, he made a good money from the commission طيب؟ good this out now here uh, commission employee one let us output this شوفوا لي الاوتبوت تبعه good output is good here صح؟ commission employee عدل ال value yeah values different so which get payment is called يا شباب which get payment is called the get string but still working صح at least but the get payment the get payment you get it from the commission employee صح the get string is still from the employee class yes or no do you want if if you want if you think this is fine the payment If you think the payment is fine, Allahu Akbar Azza If you think the payment is fine, and the two string of the commission employee of the employee is fine, no need to override it. If you want to clarify that his salary is this much and his commission is that much, then you need to override it. وصلت الفكرة. مصطفى أشرف. If this is fine for you, salary is equal to the total, then this is fine. Otherwise, you can take this from the employee. خلينا نعدلها يلا. خلينا نعملها override to string super to string. والله ما بدي super to string أنا هذا حكي ما عنده salary. ما بدي يا. I don't want it. Let me show you how I did it شوي قبل شوي here. شوفتوا شو عملتوا. اضطريت اني اعمل كامل الي يعني ها let me do it now for you uh, ما بدي سوبر تو سترينج فيها تو ماتش ديتيلز مش عاوزها all this this dot get name plus salary where to get the salary from يا شباب in which uh, in which uh, is it in the super شوفوا معي 
سوبر جيت بيمنت السوبر جيت بيمنت ويل ريتيرن يور سالاري صح ولا لا؟ رايت؟ خليكم معي طيب بلس شوفوا بلس نيو لاين كوميشن كوميشن سو ناو اي ميك ات كلير ها كوميشن بلس ذيس دوت جيت كوميشن بلس شوفوا ها ها تاب مثلا بلس سوري تاب توتال بيمنت this dot get payment does that make sense is salary only the salary you get it from the super only the commission you get it from this one total payment which is commission plus salary you get it here overridden in the subclass now let us see how let us see this was the output of isa okay Aha, uh Isa, -huh. salary is this much. Commission is that much. Total is awake. Okay. Does that make, uh, make sense? Yes, sir. If you don't like my output, fine. But at least you understand why what we did here. We sometimes call things from the super, sometimes from the current one. Taib, yalla, final example, yes, sir. Let me take three minutes of your time, please. Huh? Okay. Final example. I have a person who only works hourly. Please listen carefully. Hourly employee. Hourly employee. Please, Ya Shabab, give me two minutes of your time. Hourly employee. This hourly employee, he has no salary. He has what? No salary. Tayyib. Tab amal yani extends employee. Do I need to create a new class from the beginning? Well, okay, fuck. But fi halulian. This guy has no salary. He has what? Private integer hours. Kam sa ashtagal? Or private double rate? How much money he takes per hour? Bas. Kai brakzo ma ishway hala. Let me make a constructor. It will take five. Anna, I don't need the salary in my constructor in the hourly employee. But when I call the super class, when I call the super class, they need the salary from me. Taib, no problem, ya Asher. But it's zero. Wow, does that solve the problem? Does that solve the problem? Khalas, salary is zero. Yani, hourly employee, when you call the employee class, just make it what zero and now you need to override so many things here yalla khalina amal setter and getter you get it ya shabab setter and getter select all how we calculate the payment now yalla ololi how we calculate the payment you need to override it now definitely you need to override it yalla and override yalla shall wait bamal copy paste our lame loy good how what what no super no salary well she get payment is what this dot get hours times this dot get rate is this his payment ya shabab sahula la right tayyib how to make the two string yalla khalina nruh ala commission employee commission employee let us copy paste عشان الوقت بس يا شباب this guy has no salary Hourly employee here. Let us override the name salary. Okay, super get payment. Try it in a zero. Taib. Hours worked. Wimshi al makum. This dot get hours. Hourly rate. I think things are becoming what now? Hourly rate. This dot, شو سمينا get rate. صح get rate. Now plus okay tab هيك نحط a new line خليها plus total payment طبعا يعني payment وممكن هون تيجي تكتب شوفوا 
معانا قبل الديس جيت نوم اورلي امبلوي بلس وتوتال بيمنت استنوا شوي علي يو نو وات ام جونا دو وذ توتال بيمنت بلس ذيس دوت جيت بيمنت Does that make sense, amigos? Okay. Okay. Let us see now the output here. Mean can the عنده عيسى. إحنا ما عملنا hourly employee. Mean do you still عن hourly employee? Bukhari. Okay. Hourly employee. Okay. Bukhari equals new hourly employee. What they need from us? Name, Abdullah. And Abdullah اشتغل 30 ساعة. He takes 125 ريالز 0.5 per hour. بس. تمام. يلا خلينا نعمل output لبخاري. And run this. Okay. Hourly employee. بدها شوية space صح? وما طلعت حلوة. Okay, when our employee here. Okay, I think I'll space. Ah, oh, ma fi da'al space ha. Our employee. And later, we'll see the class dynamic to the class. Yalla, we'll run. So, we have four types of classes here. We have a person which is super class. We have a customer. Who has a phone number plus everything from the super class? An employee who has a salary. Then we have two subclasses of the employee. One with the salary and commission. One without salary. He he works overtime. كويس هيك عنا ال output of Bukhari. Does that make sense, يا شباب? Does that make sense? تمام. طيب go and sign in, please, يا شباب. What is this class? Go and sign in. I leave it open. And uh, salamu alaikum. Yalla, salamu alaikum.